if a company fires you, could you just end up talking to a ball stranded in the middle of nowhere with no way out? Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your castaway driver. Now I may not be on a three hour tour, but some drivers are. And say you're a thousand miles away from your house and the company sends you a message that says, come on into the terminal, the local terminal here. And you go in there and they go, hey, great to see you. Guess what? You're fired. Get out and uh, take your stuff with you. Now you might have a dog with you. You might have your wife or a bunch of stuff or somebody, a passenger with you. Can they just strand you in the middle of no place like that? Well, first off, for those that don't know, I'm not an attorney. If you'd like actual legal advice, please seek an attorney. But per my reading of the regulations, yes, and if somebody would like me to show, would like to show me a regulation that says different, I'd love to see it. All right, there's uh, there's nothing in the rules or anything that says they have to get you home, because you don't work there anymore. In fact, they don't have to get you home anyway, even if you do work there. So yes, they can take you from anywhere, a truck stop, any place. It's uh, your work is not guaranteed for any certain period of time. So they can say you're fired. Generally, they'll bring you at least to a terminal because they want their equipment back and make sure you're not trashing it like a rock star. But uh, yeah, they can just say uh, get lost and uh, find your own way back. It's unfortunate. Now, whether that's moral or not, that's another story. I think they should bring you back to the place that you started with them, wherever that is, just, just as a moral point. But from a legal standpoint, as far as I can read in the regulations, no. And on another note, another question, Mark, my truck broke down and it's going to be overnight. The company doesn't want to pay for a motel. Do they have to provide me somewhere to sleep? No. <laughs> oh, right. No. Somebody please show me the regulation where it says the company has to provide you somewhere to sleep. They don't. All right. They don't. Many, and there, in fact, many companies have day cab drivers that cruise the country and, uh, get motels or whatever, generally at the company's expense, but they don't have to provide you a sleeper and they don't have to give anywhere to sleep. They can say, well, let us know when it's done. <laughs> have, have a good time. It's disappointing, but true. Now, do most companies do that? No, they usually give you a motel. Sometimes you have to share a room with somebody, which I don't agree with that. That's another story, but they don't really have to give you a place to stay. The only thing that they have to do is not let you drive if you're tired. So if you say, I'm too tired to drive, I'm too sick to drive. I, you know, I don't feel I can drive safely. They can't make you drive then, okay? The equipment is unsafe. It has this and this and this problem. All right, it's not legal for the road. I don't want to drive it. I'm not driving it. That, they can't make you do that. But do they have to give you somewhere to sleep? No, no. I guess in the morning you could say, well, you know what? I am going to wear sleep, so I've been up all night. Well, that's an, I'm sitting on a park bench, you know, talking to the other people in the park. I don't know. That's something you'd have to go over with them. I'll tell you, a place that would not give you a motel, especially if your truck is broke down, you may want to look for another place to work anyway. That's pretty horrible if you're not at your house. But as for the regulation standpoint of it, no. They're not required to provide a motel to you. And if they do, it's uh, not required at any certain level. I mean, you know, motel is a motel. It'd be certainly up to them. And they can just tell you, look, you're going to provide your own motel. We give you a truck, but it's broke down. So until it's ready, uh, you can get yourself uh, your own motel. Is that right? Well, that's another story, isn't it? Whether it's right or not. You'd have to make a choice at that point. But if a place is going to say, look, we're not going to give you a motel when your truck is broke down. There have been other signs that that's pretty horrible, aren't there? What you can do before you go to a company is kind of investigate them. Look over the past... Um, reviews for years if you know 70 people a year for the last 10 years have said they don't provide motels they won't provide a way home they won't do any of this stuff okay it's probably a horrible place and you're gonna fall under the same feet uh fate i always wonder well mark i didn't know and i look it up and there's a ton thousand reviews all say the same thing i had no idea uh do you not uh, you know is there not internet where you are or whatever you gotta at least do a little investigation but are they required to get you back once you're fired is the question. The answer is a solid no. Have money to get yourself home from the farthest point in the country back to your house, including a pet, um, a partner, or whoever, you know, a passenger, whoever's riding with you, all that and all your stuff. Because you're probably not going to be able to take your dog on uh, the hound if that's the way you're planning on getting yourself home, although I don't recommend that.
So get yourself home, and we'll be back soon with another Trucking Answers.